In today's video, we're going to be looking at the cheapest 5600 XT I could possibly find. Like any other day, I was scrolling through Hardware Swap and I found this listing. Now it did say this 5600 XT was untested, but for $55, I'm willing to take that risk. It's a really nice deal. And obviously if it works, it's a very nice find. So I sent them a message and a few days later it was delivered. The overall condition actually looked pretty good. There's nothing seriously popping out at me that was like, oh, this is bad. Everything just looked as it should. Just a few scrapes here and there, but really not a big deal for a card of this price. But of course, my main concern was, does this GPU actually work? So I went ahead and put it into my computer. Press the power button and first try, it posted. Now, of course, just because a GPU posts into Windows doesn't mean that it's an entirely stable GPU. We still had to put it through proper testing just to make sure everything is running smoothly and there's no temp problems or no instability happening. This is especially important if you plan on reselling the GPU or putting it into a system to then sell to someone else because you don't want to have your customer coming back to you saying, my GPU isn't working. <laughs> so what I went ahead and did was I went into Resident Evil 4 Remake and I tried to play some Mercenaries just to see how the gaming performance is plus stability and temps. And this is how it went. All right. We're playing some mercenaries and right now we're in the game and it's getting about 73 74 celsius doing pretty good actually we're doing this just to see how it does during gaming make sure everything is performing as it should make sure there's no problems with temperatures or anything and yeah it's doing good so far everything is running smoothly there's no stuttering or anything which is nice the temps look pretty good now i'm not sure how much power a 5600 xt is supposed to draw I'm not, i don't really know that but i think about 150 watts sounds about right this is definitely an interesting model of the uh 5600 xt i've never seen this model before but i mean it's it's doing its job it's, it's performing pretty good the temps are definitely climbing over time but that's kind of expected that's kind of how, how it works when you have a gpu playing a game it will rise and then stabilize over time so we're gonna keep an eye on that as long as it stays like at least in the low 80s i am okay with that that's completely fine my chassis fans are not running right now either because i have a setting enabled to make them turn off unless the cpu is being stressed so it's definitely not getting as much airflow as it could be which is good that means the temps are good for what they are but yeah having no issues running this game everything is performing as expected no complaints here we are going to be giving this gpu a worst case scenario by stress testing it which i think it would be fine into i don't think it will reach a dangerous temperature and really having no issues here so i'm going to move on to the stress testing and see how it does in that okay for the stress testing i'm going to be using Furmark, and i'm also using cinebench at the same time just so my chassis fans will actually spin up and so far temps are looking pretty good i'm gonna let this run for about 30 minutes and then i'm gonna come back to it and see if everything is good everything should be good but it's better safe than sorry i mean sometimes games don't pick up on stability issues like this like stress testing does so we're just gonna see how it does all right we've been running for over 10 minutes and it's stabilized at 72 celsius so i definitely think having my chassis fan spin up properly uh, is helping the temps but yeah pretty pretty good for a stress test i'm not too mad at all about that in conclusion i definitely think i got a really good deal on this gpu whenever you buy a gpu that's untested you're always taking a risk no matter how good the gpu looks in the pictures there could be an underlying issue and you know i definitely took a risk here but in the end it definitely paid off for me and everything worked out just fine the temperatures are good the stability was good everything was good you're always taking a risk buying second hand regardless of whether it says it's untested working or whatever so keep that in mind but this goes to show you that sometimes it's worth it to take that risk because you could get a really nice deal like this the 5600 xt is an absolute great price of performance gpu for 55 dollars and i highly recommend you guys check out horror swap on discord or reddit it's home to a lot of really passionate and polite people who will definitely try to help you get a good deal so definitely go there if you want a good deal on a gpu and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye Thank you for watching. Wow.